So I was scrolling through social media early this week when this video popped up on my feed. This is Gomutra and this is the most expensive coffee in the world made from cat poop. No questions when drinking this but a lot of criticism when it comes to this. Now if you've seen this it takes like two seconds to spot the flaw in this logic but not only has it gone past the creator's head but she has gone and made an entire argument and backed it up with studies and stuff. So you know what I read those studies and what I found really pissed me off. And I decided to make this video. My name's Pranav. You're watching Science of Job. Let's begin. First things first, I'm not gonna say who they are because that'll make it very easy for anyone who watches this video to go and harass them on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, whatever. I don't want that. I'm not criticizing the content creator, I'm criticizing their content. Considering what's gonna come later on in this video, I don't want that to cause an avalanche of negative comments on their page. Say what you want in the comments of this video, not on their page. I'll also urge the original creators not to copyright strike this video, as what I'm doing is perfectly legal under Indian copyright law. So if I were you, unless I had a claim that would stand in court, I wouldn't strike this video. Here's the first part of their argument. No questions when drinking this, but a lot of criticism when it comes to this. Nobody is eating cat poop. Coffee is always made from coffee beans. The coffee beans eaten by this cat are harvested from its poop, purified, roasted and quality checked before coffee is made from them. On the other hand, there are tons of people who drink cow urine considering it a symbol of religious significance. You're comparing apples to oranges, a logical fallacy. I'm sure if you had just run this logic by some people before putting it on a video, you would have realized how stupid it is and abandoned it. Just think about this rationally. Urine is your body's waste product. Things you don't want like toxins and impurities etc are being thrown out, are being taken from your blood and thrown out by your body. A cow's body is no different in that respect. So why would you consume cow urine, a cow's waste product, only for your body to throw it out again? Not to mention the fact that it can actually be harmful. I'll talk about that later in this video. Now, this idea started back when people used to believe that cows were somehow divine. They didn't know any better. But today when we do know better, why do we hold on to these harmful ideas in the name of tradition? I can't believe I'm actually having to say all this. Now given this, if someone claims that there are beneficial effects of cow urine, that's an extraordinary claim and they better bring some really convincing evidence. Let's see the rest of your argument. They don't have any problem with this, but when we talk about using Gomutra as medicine, even though there are scientific evidences, certain people of this country consider this as undebut. Oh great, you backed up your argument with studies and stuff. That should shut any critic up, right? I mean, I don't even have to go through any of these, right? But what if I did? Okay, first one. This study is extremely poorly designed. It's published in a journal that has been blacklisted as a predatory journal. That's the first red flag in a list of several red flags. I've gone through the entire study and analyzed it. I didn't want to include it in this video, it'll be too long, but I've made it available in a separate video for my tier 3 plus patrons and YouTube members. So if you are one, be sure to check for the link if you want to watch it. But I'll talk about it briefly here. These kinds of studies are flawed from the very start. They have a model in mind. In this case, cow urine is good and then they go about trying to find data for it. The problem with this way of thinking is this. In case you're wrong, you'll never know. If you don't find the data you're looking for, you will just think, hey, it must be there somewhere, I just haven't found it yet. And you can never tell if it's not there at all. On the other hand, every scientific study starts by assuming that whatever you're testing has no effect at all. In this case, they'd assume that cow urine has no effect. This is known as a null hypothesis. The study then tries to disprove its own null hypothesis. When it is successful in doing that, it concludes that there is likely an effect. In this case, it'll conclude that cow urine most likely has an effect. But that's not what these people did. They've assumed the truth of their model and they're just trying to find evidence for it. 
that's not how science works this one talks about cow urine being used as a fertilizer not as a medicine i mean i have no problems with cow urine or any urine being used as a fertilizer urine contains a lot of nitrogen compounds plants need nitrogen that makes a urine a good fertilizer this is not evidence that cow urine has any medicinal effect and this one is again not evidence at all it's just an article that says that the cow science university which by the way i can't believe is a thing that exists anyway the cow science university is starting a quote national project to validate the health benefits of panchagavya a concoction prepared with cow urine dung milk curd and ghee that's it and the newspaper article is just reporting on that how is this evidence for anything this is what i think has happened they've googled something and they've just cited articles that support their point of view that's basically just cherry picking the stuff that they want this information is extremely biased considering there's a lot of evidence showing that there are harmful effects also i'll talk about that too soon right after their next piece of evidence so far i've given them the benefit of doubt and thought that they made some seemingly innocent mistakes until i saw the next article they had provided when i saw this i wondered why are they not showing the heading of the article why are they showing some paragraph from the middle of the article i tried to find the article and i did and i looked at the heading of the article cow urine not safe for humans contains harmful bacteria india's top animal research institute they've taken the one paragraph from this article which is someone's quote that seems to agree with their point of view and just cut that out and put it in the video they are literally lying to their audience for views they have no regard for their own subscribers whatsoever it's not like they probably missed the article's heading they definitely read it and chose not to show it and instead cut out this paragraph and put it in the video and the article is talking about a study that actually found evidence that drinking gomutra or cow urine is harmful i put a link to that study in the description you can take a look if you are a subscriber of their channel understand that they are trying to mislead you this video is not about whether you should drink gomutra or not sure you're just defending those who do you're defending the practice of drinking cow urine you're endangering public health i also have a message to the audience of their channel which i'll say towards the end of this video surprisingly that's not the end of their video though they have more to say certain people of this country consider this as undebunked and give it a religious and cultural undertone remember the study that was shown as evidence want to know their basis for testing on cow urine that it is mentioned in the atharva veda and other books that's not certain people giving it a religious and cultural undertone that's the authors of this study saying that and will some indians stop this mindset of accepting everything that comes from the west but not openly acknowledge the science of what we already have i've said so many times before there's no eastern and western science there's only one science science is not defined by who is doing it but by how it is done is it based on evidence does it follow the scientific method these are the questions we should ask before deciding whether something is scientific or not now this whole we accept things from the west as science but reject things from the east it's only a narrative and it does not reflect what happens in the real world there are many examples of pseudo science from the west and there are many examples of good science from the east despite this i've seen this idea being peddled a lot by people like sadguru and i'm not surprised seeing it coming from these creators they're huge sadguru fans judging by their other content to share our yoga journey some content from great masters that inspired us like sadguru and others this is the message i have for their subscribers i'm not some heartless monster that's out to expose your favorite content creators if anyone wants to make content on their religion they can i've no problem with that the prob- problem comes when you try to justify your beliefs with science and logic beliefs are just that beliefs 
you don't need anyone's validation or approval to practice them. Here's what I'm against. I'm against creators like these who manipulate their audience and knowingly lie just for views. I'm against it when they make content that endangers public health. I'm against it when they bring weird logic to misrepresent science in their videos because that not only affects the viewers when they watch that video, it affects their daily lives. It poisons their thinking process. They stop trusting science and medicine and start believing all kinds of health misinformation. And content like this that promotes it needs to be called out and I urge more people to do so. In a country like India where thousands died during the pandemic, simply because of misinformation, creators must understand that they can't freely create this kind of content and that there are consequences. Content like this is financially risky for me to make. Sponsors don't like to support content where I'm taking up religious or controversial topics or criticizing other YouTubers. In fact, the last time I had a sponsor on my videos was the month of January. I have to support myself and this content with generous support from my audience. If you do decide to support me, you can find the links down below. I recommend Patreon or YouTube memberships for continued support or buy me coffee UPI or that thanks button for one-time support. You can also support me through my website or my merch. If you like this video, you might also like this one I did on another set of content creators who like to misrepresent science and spread conspiracy theories. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, remember, science is dope.